Hi there, Simon from SimonWater.com. Today I have a bottle of, actually I've got a half bottle, of um, Chateau Picoron um, Les Terras, uh, which is from Castillon in Bordeaux, Castillon Côte de Bordeaux, and in particular from uh, a, a, an area in Castillon called saint Colomb. 100% Merlot, um, and, uh, but not made by French people. I think uh, Glenda and Frank Callick, uh, I think they're from Australia. If I'm, if I'm wrong, sorry guys. Well, it smells, it smells um, sweet, juicy and polished and plummy. Uh, 2014, well, 2015 was the sexy vintage, I think. So it looks like 2016 is going to be a sexy vintage as well. 2014, uh, slightly in awe of those two vintages, but um, here it smells like it's going to be uh, quite rich and satisfying. Let's have a, a slurp. Well, it's an interesting one. This um, they, they, the first time you, you first time you put it in your mouth, uh, you, you're left with this wealth of juicy, rich, dark, plummy fruit with a bit of red berry in there, but verging ever so slightly towards the jammy, and you think it's just going to be a fruit bomb. Uh, but then some of that bordosity, for want of a better term, kicks in. Uh, so you're left with something that's a little bit more stern, yeah, a little bit more correct after the exuberance of the the, the first impressions and. Uh, the two of them ultimately sit, uh, sit together rather nicely. So you've got the, the structure of traditional Bordeaux, especially in 2014, uh, uh, giving this slightly green edge cedary restraint, and then this juicy plummy fruit, and then the Bordeaux restraint holds it in. Then the juiciness comes out, and so it's a nice mix between the two of them. And um, yes, yeah, shame, shame I've only got a half bottle, because I'd like to watch a, a full bottle over the course of uh, a few hours and see what, what happens to it. I have a strong feeling that um, if I've only got a half bottle, it's not going to last awful long, uh, an awful long time, because uh, I have steak to be eaten, so, um, and I think it's going to go rather nicely with those. It feels like a wine that I'd be, it would absolutely be no crime to, uh, uh, to polish it off uh, at this stage in its, uh, in its evolution, uh, but because of that, that backbone that's there, as well as this uh, juicy, plush fruit, it feels like a wine that's uh, got a little bit of a future ahead of it, uh, but I'd, I'd, I'd be tempted to drink it sooner rather than later, but um, yeah, I quite like that. See you soon.